the campsite number two. Leave no trace, people. Leave no trace. And then we're going to hike onwards, which I'm super stoked about. I'm going to go spearfishing. So just getting out of this marine park zone. There's a couple of dolphins, but they, they pop up once and then I just don't see them again for like 10 minutes. So it's really hard to try and get them on film. But uh, yeah, this is day three of hike and spear. How good. Look at this. Thank you. And since last night, I've had this beach entirely to myself. Except for actually, no, that's a lie. I shared it with some kangaroos. And um, there was something that was like crawling around in the shrub at night. And I don't know what it was. It could have been an echidna. But who knows? But what I do know is I've decided to take the cliff route, which I might immediately regret looking at the waves smashing up onto the cliff, but let's see if I can climb up and work my way around it. I reckon this is my best available option. So climbing with 30 kilos on your back on slippery rocks, what can go wrong, eh? Oh. All right, we're up. Now, hopefully, this gives us a nice path the whole way around. Woo! Oh, how good do I feel about today? Let me tell you, I feel sensational. Today is just gonna be an epic day. Cool. And I'm between tides, so hopefully I don't have to get wet without intention. We love getting wet, but there needs to be intent. Let's check all of this amazing landscape. Oh, now this is cool. Come on. Still in the... Uh, the marine park boundary but shit that would be fun i think we've got another one here you can just imagine in these cracks just how many crays there are down there there'd be the perfect perfect tunnel systems for them they would absolutely thrive in there and on that environment so right well at least we know we made it to this beach and we're gonna get wet just another beautiful, untouched beach. Oh, look at this beach. Woo! One. Poseidon himself has carved out some steps for us. Happy days. Oh. Woo! All right, fingers crossed we don't get wet. Come on. We made it through the first one. Can we make it through the second one? Oh, easy, mate. All day. So, that's the cliff that I've got to pass. It's just being smashed and smashed and smashed with white water. Um, this really sucks, but it looks like I might have to kind of make my way up this kind of hill and up and over it, and then hopefully back down onto the beach. Um, that's a bugger. I'm all for taking a bit of danger and taking on a bit of risk, but um, that would be an unnecessary risk, I think, to come this far and fall in and lose all my gear to the water. Wow, I'd have under 30 kilos now. I've drank most of my water. I've got like a liter and a half left. So um, yeah, now nah, we'll, we'll try and find a route up here somewhere. See how we go. Well, what do you know? Not only does it have steps, it's got a rope to help me up as well. How good. That's the sound of my spear gun hitting my head. There's a lot of trust in this rope. Oh, oh there's even a rail. Perfect. How good.
Nice little bay. I'm gonna navigate my way across the rocks. I don't have my backpack on. This is a one-way trip. And if the water out here looks calm and good and clear, I'm gonna suit up and get in on this island. But let's go check out these dolphin, shark, seals, whatever they are first. Just made the uh, proper visuals on them and they're definitely seals. But seals are still cool, so let's go check them out anyways. Sea doggos. jump uh, 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 uh. hopefully it's coming up on camera one two just two sea doggos just being sea doggos just chilling all right gang so i'm heading actually around the corner um from where i intended to dive of those waves are just stirring everything up a little bit and i want to get the last day dive as a good dive with good viz so if i go around this cove um i'll be in a nice sheltered bay and the viz should be good and yeah let's see what we get stoked oh beauty a couple of surfers out there so i'm almost back with civilization all right so i've got a short little walk around the headland should take about a k or so and then um and then i'm gonna be at the beach and then i've put a lot of faith in this beach so fingers crossed it pays off with some protected area and some good viz and uh yeah how cool is this walk i feel like we don't appreciate trees anywhere near as much as we should. Like, not just for, you know, giving us the oxygen that we breathe to keep us alive, but like just the unique structures, the twists, the turns, the shapes, the sizes, they're amazing. I bloody love trees. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say on the, <laughs> on the tree front. They're awesome. So I'm out of the national park zone now um, and yeah, come across some lovely lily pillies. So uh, we'll definitely take a few of these. Yum. So what are lily pillies? Lily pillies are a native fruit. They don't have like the best taste in the world, but they're not, um, they're not terrible either. So lily pillies. They really don't taste that great, but they can give me some Good nutrients and sugars to keep me on my way all right so i'm down to the last few of my lily pillies and i've worked out a really good way to eat them so you don't get any sour aftertaste basically take the the lily pilly put it in your mouth And then don't eat the green bit. It's the green bit that gives a horrible taste. But how cool is this? Oh, so good. So I've hiked from all the way down there, way, way off in the distance. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up, but down there. And then, yeah, obviously all that coast. Um, journey's almost at an end, but I've got about 800 meters to go. and. I'll be in a, uh, a good spot for spearing, hopefully. Honestly, this place is just magic. Absolutely magic. If you live in Australia and you're not out doing these sorts of things, you're not doing Australia properly, people. I'm not saying hike and spear, I'm just saying hiking you know getting out and just walking through this stunning country it's just amazing and you can tell i'm back near civilization because there's there's handrails for all of those dangerous cliffs and dangerous trees and 
All right, people, I am exhausted. This is day three, I'm just about to get in. I'm glad I made the extra effort to come around here. It's a whole heap calmer. The viz looks insane and, and you guys can watch me get changed. I'm gonna, gonna get naked. <laughs> no, I won't do that to you. Um, but look at this beak. I won't wait much more time. I'm really, really hungry. The lily pillies didn't quite fill the stomach. Let's get these boots off and get wet. Just before I do get wet for the final time, um, how sick has this trip been? Seriously, just a quick recap. All the things that we've gone over and done, just absolutely amazing. And yeah, incredibly grateful to be able to do these kinds of things and live in a beautiful country like Australia. So check it out, people. One last look before we get wet. This is just a standard kind of day. Would you believe me if I told you that this is winter? This is Australian winter. It's not bad at all. All right, I'm getting wet, go. Right, first up, we've got this leather jacket. So yeah, this cheeky little fella, I decided to try and have a catch of. And um, yeah, I've caught a few fish by hand. And for some reason, I just decided today that I was gonna catch this fella. So caught him, show him off, and then release him, let him go. Cool little dude. Um, ideally, I was really, really keen on getting some more crays. Um, so I searched and searched and spent the bulk of my time diving, just looking for craze and yeah, despite the amount of cracks and holes and caves that I looked into, there was no sign of a single cray. Plenty of sea urchins, abalone and um, turban snail though. These are Port Jackson sharks, they're one of my favourite creatures in the ocean, they are so chilled and they've got really, really funny little personalities, each and every one of them. You can see some pike here, you can see some old wife, some, uh, yeah, big blue groper. There were some drummer that were kind of hiding in these rocks as well, and you can see brim in the distance there, but I was just kind of not really in the mood, I can't, can't explain it. I was just enjoying the scenes down there, but yeah. Right, so that was the final dive of the trip, and um, yeah, didn't get anything. I mean, it was a, it's a nice dive. There just wasn't much fish around. Um, saw some nice brim that you'd probably shoot. Saw some two fat red moeys. Saw one fat blue moey. And then just saw, yeah, like longfin pike and blah, blah, blah. If it was a, any other day other than the end of the hike and spear trip, I probably would have shot the blue moey and probably taken a brim. But yeah. Like, uh, I don't want to just have a fish sat for a couple of hours until I get picked up. Um, I mean, I could put it in shade and stuff, but yeah, nah, just wasn't really feeling it. And then I looked and looked and looked for some craze. I was planning on giving some craze to uh, my grandparents to say thanks, but just no craze around. So sorry, guys. Um, I'll have to buy some wine or something, but um, yeah, bugger. Never mind, still enjoyed myself and it means that I can, um, yeah, kind of pack all this stuff up, get, get nice and dry, and then go find a cafe and have burger and chips. <laughs> oh, food, proper food. Haven't eaten the, haven't eaten anything except for a few lily pillies since yesterday. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely keen to get onto some food. But I hope you enjoyed the um, underwater scenery. It was a bit hit and miss and some good, like, swell and stuff, but... Yeah, um, nothing worth kind of taking home at this stage. Uh, found some abs, you'll always find abs, but the, um, yeah, again, not worth taking, so just leave them legal, but not worth taking. All right, guys, I'm gonna enjoy the sun for a little bit, and then, uh, yeah, I'll update you in a bit. All right, so, dive obviously wasn't too much of a success in terms of food, but I'm heading up the road because if I'm back in civilization, the hike and spear is complete. And I believe there is a cafe in Kyola. This cafe better watch out because if it doesn't have a clue what's gonna hit it. I'm talking big order, burger, chips, the lot. All right, let's go.
He was like, nah, I'm moving. I'm way too chilled for this. It's a good day. All right, gang, so back home, grandparents came and picked me up and I cannot wait to go and get showered, get these grubby socks off and yeah, get a proper feed into me. Um, on my way up the hill to get collected by my grandparents, um, I was searching for a feed because I was starving after not eating anything post dive because of yeah couldn't really find much, um, and bumped into this awesome bloke called Mick from Drawn to Water. dot com and dot au I believe and yeah awesome bloke just clocked that I had a, a gun and some dive fins and popped over and said hello <laughs> took me in gave me a bowl of cereal and we just had some good yarns and yeah what a bloke so um just want to say a massive thank you to mick people like that just yeah australia is a great country like it's awesome i love it and apart from that yeah i'm literally gonna jump into the car thank you to my grandparents for coming and pick me up um just gonna jump into the car jump into the shower because of yeah i'm just salty very very salty and i need some fresh water in me and then some proper food super excited right guys thank you until next time bye all right guys so that is the end of the hike and spear or at least for for this trip um strange day the last day like I, yeah got in the water i was super excited to get in the water and shoot some fish and then i kind of got in the water and had opportunities to shoot fish and just kind of didn't um very strange but i really hope that you guys have enjoyed the trip it was absolutely amazing like it's still making me smile today um favorite parts of it include just day one just having everything raw and just getting stuck into it and uh yeah day two just the the scenes the smells the, the sea eagle was probably one of my favorites. Um, just a really, really cool kind of experience to have a big bird of prey like that just kind of watch over and just, yeah, do its thing, um, which was epic. Plenty of cool kangaroos along the way. It was just amazing. The weather was perfect. The wind was a bit strong, but um, I've gotten pretty good at editing the wind out of the video, which is good for you guys. And uh, yeah, just thoroughly enjoyed it. Day three, epic. Um, things that I would definitely have loved to have changed about the trip. Um, to not have the corrupted um, SD card. I'm not sure if it's the fault with the SD card on this one or a fault with the GoPro. But um, yeah, absolute pain. Just random clips, like not even continuous clips, just random clips are corrupt and I don't have access to that. So I've spent a while trying to clean them up and I just can't, which is a bit of a bugger but there you are um other things that i would definitely change it's the national parks thing that gets me um doing this through national parks makes it so much more difficult um just because like with last time when i was in the uk i wasn't going through a national park so you saw me happily get into the foraging happily get into the seaweeds and stuff but um with the parks there's so many rules around what you can and can't eat and what you can harvest what you can take onto the beach and eat. it gets very complicated so the next hike and spear that i do i'll probably pass through some national park but i won't specifically just be in a national park so that i can get stuck into some greens i can get stuck into some foraging because of i mean there's plenty of delicious foods here in australia and um yeah they just need to be eaten other things that i'd definitely change um Compared to the, the big hiking spear that I did in the UK, I had sugars, I had my energy bars with me, um, my mint cake, Kendall mint cake. So I'm definitely taking that on the next one. I'll just, I'm pretty sure that I'll have more energy to film, more energy to hike further distance, more energy for spearfishing. Um, yeah, that will be, that will be the go I think for the next hiking spear to keep the Kendall mint cakes on me. Apart from that, I will probably take another drone battery with me. I ran out of battery on this trip. Um, and the power pack that I use to charge up all of the, the video equipment whilst I'm on my hike, um, yeah, I need to keep that warm at night. I noticed that the, the battery, the power dropped significantly overnight and it was a cold night. But the um, yeah, when I woke up in the morning, the battery was cold as, and um, yeah, it, it zapped like 70% off the battery which I know isn't um isn't right so it was just a bit too cold I think 
apart from that, fun crossing the estuary and everything. And um, yeah, it was epic. Guys, thank you for joining me on my journey. I absolutely loved it and frothed on every moment. I hope you guys did too. If you want to see more, um, drop us a comment. I'm going to do a video next on what's in my pack so you guys can see fully what I would pack. I'm going to include different packs for different scenarios, but I'll just go through all the gear that I have that I, that I would consider taking on these hikes. Um, so you guys can get a good idea of how to build up your kit so that you guys can start going on your own hike and spear adventures because they're just absolutely epic. So stay tuned for that. Drop a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, do all of the YouTube -y things. And um, yeah, it's awesome to see the channel growing and, and heaps of new people coming on board with the hike and spear. So yeah, that's absolutely sick. Um, if you've got any questions, queries, either drop them in the comment section or DM me on Instagram and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Always keen to, to help others out into the wilderness and out into the water. Um, apart from that, thank you so much for joining me on my journey. And uh, yeah, stay wet, stay fed people. Catch ya.